Aardvarks are bizarre animals. They have rabbit-like ears, a tail similar to a kangaroo, and a long snout. They are none of these animals. What are aardvarks? Hi, Zachamals here. Aardvarks are the only living species of their order, so there are no other animals closely related. The closest living relatives are elephants, manatees, and hyraxes all very different looking animals. These animals can't even agree on a size range. Aardvarks are found all over Africa, where their ants are found and burrows can be made. They can be found in tropical rainforests, savannas, woodlands, they have even been found at altitudes of 3,200 metres. For reference, Mount Fuji has a height of 3,775 metres. The only habitats they can't be found in are swamp forests and any rocky terrain. Digging adaptations of aardvarks include their sharp shovel-like claws and their hairy nostrils to filter dirt when they dig. Aardvarks create three types of burrow. Burrows made when foraging for termites and ants, burrows made for resting points, these are scattered all around their territory to be used as refuge from predators. If an aardvark cannot find one of these burrows quickly enough, it will rapidly dig a new one. The final type of burrow is burrows made as a permanent home. These are deep and expansive, often large enough for a human to enter. Aardvarks are quite large. They have a similar weight range to humans, at 130 to 180 pounds. Anyway, these home burrows are where aardvarks will raise their young. Aardvarks only come together to mate, and the mother will raise its one cub in the burrow for a year. Aardvarks are born hairless and wrinkly, with floppy ears, but quickly grow. They learn to eat termites at nine weeks, and start burrowing at six months. When aardvarks abandon their burrows, they are used by other smaller African animals, such as African wild dogs, hyenas and warthogs. Without these abandoned burrows, many animals would die during wildfire season. Aardvarks are nocturnal. They have terrible vision, but good hearing, and an even better sense of smell. They spend most of their nights eating termites. They cover a range of 2 to 5 kilometres when foraging. However, some studies have suggested up to as far as 30 kilometres in one night. Aardvarks have a diet of almost exclusively termites and ants, which they eat with their 30 centimetre long tongue. They also have tough skin to resist insect bites. Aardvarks can smell termite nests from afar and will dig towards them. They also eat termites on the move and look for long lines of termites that can be up to 40 metres long. Apart from termites and ants, aardvarks have one other food source, the aardvark cucumber. Aardvarks have a symbiotic relationship with this fruit. The fruit provides aardvarks with an essential source of water and the aardvark germinates the seeds of the fruit by defecating the seeds in the loose soil of its burrows. This fruit is the reason why aardvarks are the only anteating animal with functioning cheek teeth. These teeth are rootless and peg-like. All aardvarks are born with conventional canines and incisors, but these fall out and adult aardvarks only have cheek teeth at the back of the jaw. Aardvarks are sometimes killed for these teeth to make good luck bracelets but humans aren't having a massive effect on aardvark populations yet. I hope you now know what an aardvark is and how amazing and ant-standing they are. Don't forget to like and subscribe and watch my other videos. Hope you enjoyed. Bye!